All right, students, especially my students, but this applies uh, to anyone uh, using assessments in Schoology. So I'm going to show you a couple of important things about completing assessments in Schoology. So when you're completing them for me, a lot of times it's homework or a quiz, and I'm going to allow multiple attempts. So you can see right here, you've made one of three attempts. You have two remaining. Here's where the old one was, okay? Now, I'm just going to show you what the assessment looks like first, okay, and a couple of kind of red flags. So when you start the attempt, okay, um, when I give an assessment, I'm going to have um, a screen first before there's any questions. And most of the time, this information is super important, and it's going to have a link to a video to help you if you're struggling. And then as you're moving through the questions, you can very easily just click back to that first page and there you go. You can reference that video if you need to, okay? And when you click it, it's gonna open up in a new tab so it's not gonna close you out of your assessment. All right, so let's get started on the assessment. Notice if there is more than one answer, I'm gonna tell you. So it says select all of the correct answers. So you could see, I could literally select them all, okay? Or select whichever ones you think are right. Okay, here is a drop down one. You can see the little um, little carrot sort of, all right? And then you're gonna choose what you think the right answer is, okay? Whatever you think the right answer is. And then here's a true false, which is relatively um, a simple option. Here's labeling. So correctly label. So you can see these boxes. What I'm gonna have to do when there's boxes that are dotted like that, I'm gonna have to drag a term to that box and leave it. What happens if I uh, say I put this here and I'm like, oh my gosh, no, that is definitely wrong. All I do is I take the one that it is right and put it over it and it's gonna kick the other one out and kick it back down here so I could put it in the right spot, okay? Um, this is very similar, except I'm moving words uh, just to, to complete the blanks in a sentence, okay? So I'm just gonna do like this. Okay, it's like being given a word bank, right? The word bank is just at the bottom. And then this is a click location. It says click on the location of the femoral vein. And as I move around in the diagram, you can see that different spots are highlighted, okay? Um, so I'm gonna wanna choose the correct one for femoral vein, okay? Then I'm gonna go to review. Now. Here I can check, are there any questions I didn't attempt? No, I guess I attempted all the questions. And I'm gonna click finish. It says all questions have been attempted. That doesn't mean I finished them all, but I did try them all, okay? And so I'll click yes, all right? And that's gonna submit it. So now when I go back here, I now see I had a second attempt, okay? But I have one more attempt remaining. Um, and in the future, I don't want you to do the second attempt like that. If you've already tried it once, and for me, do you see this, how it says view? I'm going to let you look at the um, assessment. So click on view. Okay, so when I click on view, all right, here's what I'm going to see. Well, this, I got 0 0.5 out of 1, so I got it half right, half wrong. It doesn't tell me which half I got right, but it tells me I got half right. This tells me I didn't get anything. Now, remember, this was a select all, so I had to have selected them all. But hold on, what is this? My teacher left me a note, and it said, remember the brainstem sits on top of the spinal cord use this image for help. And then my teacher gave me an image that I could use to maybe help myself get the right answer. And then it says, click on the location of the femoral vein. I didn't get that one right, but oh, my teacher left me a note here that says, remember in illustrations, arteries are shaded red and veins are shaded blue. So that might help me choose the correct answer next time. This just has awesome job as a comment, okay? All right, now right here it says check out this website for help because uh, you can see, what did I get? Less than 50%. Okay, so I got less than half of it right. And again, it doesn't tell me which ones I got right. It just tells me I got a bunch wrong. So if I click here, again, this was given to me by my teacher, right? It's going to take me right here and then, oh my goodness, I have all of these um, drawings, these sketches of the skull and I keep going down 
and includes the sutures. So this is really going to help me answer that question. So sometimes my teacher might give me a link. So what should I do? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in a new tab. So I'm going to open a whole nother copy of my course. Okay. I'm going to leave this practice one. Remember this had the comments um, and this was the one that I previously took. So now I'm going to look at this second tab that's open. I'm going to go back into the practice assessment and I'm going to start my new attempt. Now remember, since I was silly for the second one, this is my last attempt. So I'm going to start this one. Okay, remember always the first page when it's for me gives you some important directions. It might be an article to read. It might be a video to watch. It might be a resource you need for the test. Whatever it is, it's there. All right, so click on the location of the femoral vein. So let's see. Here's what I picked last time. And the comment from my teacher was, remember, in illustrations, arteries are shaded red and veins are shaded blue. Oh, so this was femoral, but that I was supposed to do the femoral vein. So I'm going to click here and go to the next question. All right, and this is the one where I showed you, uh, I had a whole bunch wrong, more than half. I don't know which ones are right and which ones are wrong, but I do know that this website is supposed to help me. So I'm gonna open the website, okay, and let's see, parietal bone right here. Okay, that definitely looks like that one. Okay, what else? Frontal up here. So do I have frontal, okay, that, oops, right here. That is right there. Uh, let's see, occipital back here, that's here. Okay, so I would continue doing that for all of them using the resource that my teacher literally provided for me, okay? Now I'm gonna go to the next question. I'm gonna close this bones of the skull tab. Let's go back here and let's find that question. All right, it says the human brain has four lobes and five hemispheres, that's what I picked. And I only got half right. I don't know which half though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a tab and say how many lobes does the brain have? Each side of your brain contains four lobes. All right, that's from Mayo Clinic. That seems reliable. If I just scroll down, four lobes, four lobes. Okay, I feel confident now. So four lobes. What did I get right the first time? I had that the first time. That means this is definitely wrong. So I know I cannot pick five here, all right? So instead of lobes, I'll say hemispheres. Oh, two. Okay, so well, let's just make sure two hemispheres um, left and right. Okay, so I feel pretty confident now. So two hemispheres. All right, so you're going to continue like this. So let's see. Let's just find this thick skin one. Here we go. Oh, I got that one right. I put false. So I'm just going to put false again. I got it right the first time. All right, and then I'm going to continue like that and using, first of all, the feedback my teacher gave me. Second of all, what I got right and wrong the first time to help so that I can get the best score possible when I complete this again. Right? That's the reason that I, as the teacher, allow you to retake it. The idea is to get a better score. And if you're just randomly guessing and not looking at what you got right and wrong, how does that help? Okay, let's get a perfect score. And it might take you three tries, but you can do it. 